how to use BuzzSumo for content marketing, BuzzSumo tutorial. So hello everyone. So in today's video, I will show you guys on how to use BuzzSumo for content marketing. So without further ado, let us begin. So to start off, we need to create an account. So what you want to do is just go to the BuzzSumo website, which is just buzzsumo.com. And then from here, you can either create an account, start your 30 day free trial or log in if you have an account. Moving on, I will be talking about the pricing or the plans of BuzzSumo. So when I click on pricing right here, I will see the different kinds of plans available for BuzzSumo. So for the cheapest plan, which is 199 is the content creation plan. And then next is we have PR and comms. Next is we have the suite plan. And then lastly is we have the enterprise plan. So feel free to read all of these information of the plans depending on how you will use BuzzSumo. So let us now start by creating an account. So to create an account in BuzzSumo or start your 30-day free trial, what you want to do is just click on start your 30-day free trial right here and then you'll be redirected to this web page right here. So just fill out the information that is needed. And just for um, some information, the free trial does not require a credit card. And then you can also sign up with Facebook if you already have a Facebook account. So first thing you need to do is fill out your full name, fill out your email address, create a password, um, fill in the captcha, and you can also check these boxes right here. So sign me up for, for platform tips, product updates, and original research. So if you want to receive these kinds of emails, make sure that this box is checked. And then lastly, you should also check this box right here. This is These are the terms and services for BuzzSumo. And then take note, if you'll be signing up with an email, you will really need to connect your Facebook account. So as you can see over here, when I signed up with my email, it says right here, please verify your account. So in order to verify that you are a real person, please connect your Facebook account. So connect your Facebook account just by clicking on this box right here. And then after connecting your Facebook account, um, BuzzSumo will ask you a couple of questions to personalize your experience. So for the first question, it will ask you, what are your main goals in BuzzSumo? So just choose the answer in which best applies your situation. So for me, I'll just choose content research, strategy, and ideation. And then next, it will ask you, which country or region are you based in? So just choose the country or, or region that you live in. And then after that, it will ask you if you are if are you in an agency or are you an agency so if you are an agency or if you are, are so if you are in an agency just click on yes right here and if you're not just click on no so I'll just click on no and then once you're done answering these questions just click on get started and then there you go you'll be redirected in the home page of buzz sumo so in this home page right here you'll be redirected here in the trending feeds after you sign up so this is where you'll find all of the trending um articles or news that are trending today so you will see here the trending score and the engagement so the trending score is the score on how trending it is and right here in the engagement you will see um how many posts or how popular it is per each social media platform so as you can see over here, um, this this news right here of Chris Brown getting stuck mid-air during concert, the trending score is 690, and then the engagement is 10.5K, and all of that 10.5K engagement can be found on Facebook. Same goes right here in CMPD, arrest suspect accused of stabbing woman as she left work. So again, the trending score is 687, and the engagement is 10.4K, which is found on the Facebook social media. So as you can see over here, mostly all of the trending news right here can be found on Facebook. So in this cover right here, you will see the different kinds of tools that you can use for your content marketing. So the best tool right here is the content ideas generator. So basically what this does, it allows you to generate um, content or like articles in where you'll just enter a keyword and then it will display the most search or the top um, articles that are trending right now. And then for the keyword tool right here, enhance your content with top performing keywords. 
And then for question analyzer, find the most popular questions for any topic, keyword, or subreddit. And then trending feeds, this is the one that we are in right now. And then the topic explorer, so generate endless content ideas for any subject in less time. So when I click on content ideas generator right here, I'll be able to search um, anything just by inputting a keyword and then it will display the most searched um, ideas relating to that keyword. So for example, um, I will enter a keyword like um, content marketing and then just click on search and then just wait for the brief generator to load. And then once it's done loading, what you want to do is just scroll down and you will see all the popular um, topics related to your keyword. So from here, so get ideas from the most evergreen contents, you will see all of the websites that are that are popular right now relating to your keyword. So as you can see over here, you will get to see the evergreen sc score the linking domains, and the total engagement with those websites. And then moving on, we have um, ideas from popular keywords right here. So these are the most searched um, most searched keywords on Google relating to your keyword right here. So as you can see, the most popular one right here is what is content marketing. And then you will see a graph on how trending it is for the past 12 months. You will also see the volume and CPC. And then if you want to find some more keywords, just go to the keyword tool right here. And then again, just search up your keyword. So again, my keyword is content marketing. Just click on that, click on search, and then you will see more keywords available relating to your keyword. So you would see the search volume, the costs per click, and the articles that have been published. And again, you will see everything right here and how trending it is, the volume, the CPC. And then when I click on view full inside, Sites right here I will get to see a uh, more additional info relating to that keyword right here so you'll get a detailed view of the search volume and content over time and then you will also get to see content ideas right here relating to your keyword and some questions relating to your keyword. You can you, you can also see right here some related SEO keywords and then you'll also have a SERP overview and then you will also see the the top influencers relating to your keyword. So for X or Twitter, we have Mind Pop Content. For a YouTube influencer, we have Adam. And then for the top authors, we have Sadden Long. So yeah, this is where you, you, will, you will get to see a detailed um, view of the keyword that you searched. And then moving on as we have Topic Explorer. So when you input your your keyword right here it will search up for you some great topics related to your keyword so again i'll just use content marketing as my keyword just click on search wait for that to load and then from here you will get to see the different kinds of topics that are related to your keyword so we have here content strategy content creation content writing and web content curation so so you can see over here some content ideas so how to create a content marketing strategy how to use AI for content creation, and a lot more. So feel free to check all of these out. And they also have a lot of results right here. So you can just scan to all of the pages that you want to view. Next is we have question analyzer. So again, when you click on question analyzer right here and then enter your, your topic or your keyword, it will find the most popular questions related to your keyword. So again, I'll use content marketing and then just click on search and then it will display right here the most popular questions related to your keyword. So we have different kinds of filters right here. If you want questions to start with an R, a can, and how, and etc., you can filter out them here. So for the R questions, so these are the most popular questions right here or most recent questions. Are you looking for affordable content marketing service? And here are the questions for some can questions. So can you explain your content marketing approach and how does it align with our business goals and a lot more. And then from here, you will also get to see some websites about questions related to your keywords. As you can see over here, what does a good content marketing template look like and a lot more. So feel free to check all of these out. You can also filter your results right here by the date, um, the country, the site types, and the sources. Moving on, let us move over to the content tab right here. So first is we have content analyzer. Again, you can find and analyze the most engaging articles relating to your keyword. So let's say um, you can also enter a website right here if you want. So let's say let's enter buzzsumo.com. Click on search. And again, you'll get to see um, the, the engagement and the evergreen score and the links related to your keyword. So as you can see over here, we have Facebook engagement, X shares or Twitter, Pinterest shares, 
Reddit engagement, number of links, evergreen score, and the total engagement of your keyword. Um, for Facebook Analyzer, this this is also the th the same thing with Content Analyzer, but for like Facebook pages. Um, for YouTube Analyzer, for like YouTube channels or videos. Um, backlink Analyzer for your for your um backlink or URL that you enter right here or domain. And then for outreach right here, there's also a lot of options that you can use. So we have media database. So in here you can find and engage with journalists most relevant to your specific topics. And then we have media list. So be, build media list of key journalists and see what they've published today in a single click of a button. So just enter all of your keywords right here in this area if you want your, your, your searches related to some journalists. And then next right here, so we have pitches. So you can send personalized pitches, build relationships, and boost efficiency with their AI-powered pitching tool. And then for influencers, so you can so you can enter keywords so that you can find um, influencers by their topic or their username. So you can find influencers from Twitter, TikTok, Facebook pages, and YouTube influencers. And then for monitoring right here, you can get to monitor by selecting what you would like to monitor. So you can monitor brands. You can also monitor competitors, backlinks, content, keywords, authors and journalists, and media list. So again, just input their keywords or their links or their names right here. And then if you want to create a project, you can create one right here. So yeah, so when you want to create a project, just click on create your first project right here and then just enter your project name. So I'll just name mine sample. You can also set this to private if you want. So I'll set mine to private and then just click on save and then you'll be redirected here in your project. So you will, so you can upload here articles or just search up for articles. Same goes with questions. So you can search questions just by clicking on this um, question button right here and then it will be saved here in your project. Same goes with influencers, Facebook posts, Facebook pages, TikTok creators, YouTube content, and YouTube channels. So all you have to do is just input their their usernames right there or their pages and then it will all be saved right here in your project. You can also invite people if you want just by clicking on invite teammates right here and then all you have to do is just input their email address right here and then if you have a lot of teammates that you want to invite, make sure that their email addresses are separated by commas. You can also um, change their access level just by clicking on this and then you will get to edit their access level if you want them to have regular access level or if you want them to have a full user access level and then this right here is the home page so basically this is the home page of buzzsumo so again you can enter a topic or keyword right here and then it will display the most popular content relating to your keyword so yeah that is pretty much it on how to use buzzsumo for content marketing